Hello and welcome to another Flights with Joel. This is the Golden Age Simulations. Models PT-1713, N2S35, and the A75L300. This particular one is the PT-17. It's one of my favorite aircraft, so I just had to jump in here and have a look around. I think it's great. It's got many features that the other Stearman PT-17 in the sim does not have. It may lack a teeny, teeny bit on the modeling, but I think it's good enough for me, I guess I'll say. I'm just going to have a look at it. You can decide what you think for yourself. Thanks for coming along. This will be fun. All right, one thing I wanted to check out before we get started, before I jump in, is this little detail here. I went to a Stearman fly-in about seven months ago, and I noticed this for some reason. I don't know why. It's a nice detail, nice little detail about maintenance on the shocks. Okay, anyway, there it is. Let's hop inside. So I've already removed the cover. You use this um, iPad to do a lot of the modeling stuff, the pitot tube, the tie downs, etc. You can close that right there and right there it opens again. So that's how you open and close it. Now we're just about to start. I think you saw all the accoutrements on here. Let's take the pitot cover off, take it off. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, my, my brake is on, so I can do all this. You have to have the emergency brake on to take these things on and off. Control lock off. There it is. Control lock is off. Now you can check your controls. That is, assuming you have set them up right. Just realize, <laughs> maybe I haven't. I have my track IR turned on. I always pause this at first. So we're going to pause that and go in here a little closer. All those things are removed. Now I want to, I'm going to add a pilot and a passenger because it's just more fun this way. There's the pilot and there's the passenger. You got to have a little bit of something. You can also add weight in the weight and balance, fill it up with the mail. I've been doing a mail run on Twitch in this, and I think I will continue to do that. And you go to the next page, you have options of cold and dark, ready to taxi, or ready for takeoff. Any of those. This is pretty close to, I just jumped in, it's pretty close to cold and dark. We're going to put that away for now. Uh, and the first thing you need to do is you need to turn everything off. So fuel off, the uh, magnetos off, battery, lights, all off. There's the dog's tail. And you need to... Uh, bring the propeller through simulating removing the oil that may have settled in combustion chambers of the lower chain chambers okay so you just do this i don't really hear anything i don't know if there's a sound but that's all it'll let me do it'll only let me do about two times through you're supposed to check your temperature here and depending on the temperature um is how many times you need to pull it through. It'll only give me about two pulls and then it stops. But this is much more involved than the other steerman that we have, which just starts right up. Here we go. Wait, oh, first. I, I actually pulled that through a little early because I forgot we need to check the refueling. So we need to bring this out. This is one of the coolest features actually, refueling. Pop that open. And then we pop outside. Whoops, wrong button. And then we pop outside. No, not that one. And then we pop out one of these buttons here. Where's my refueling cam? There it is. You have a refueling camera here. And you can uh, check in your weights. Check in here to see how much fuel you have. I have 50% fuel, which is normal when you jump in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fill it up. So this has a crank on it. Oh, it's very hard to see right now. It has a crank right there. There it is. So that's cranking the fuel in. Now, I haven't seen a way to really um, decide how much you're going to put in because I believe it'll just be full now. 
And then there's a click spot somewhere here to take that out. Or you can just go in on the, um, on the pad again and turn it off. But I, they said there's a click, I just saw where there's supposed to be a, is that it? Yes, look at that. That gets rid of the refueling right there. And if I now look at the fuel level, I'm using Flow Pro from Parallel 42. So there it is, 100%. Um, I would love it if there was a way to do it. Oh, I'm, I'm already in the, yeah. That's already a cockpit camera that looks at your fuel. So pilot passenger, and it turned my passenger off somehow. Somehow it turned off my passenger. It's done this a couple times to me. I don't know why. And let's give it a go. So fuel on, power on. I'll wait for the lights. Hopefully I will remember. And magnetos on to both. But you'll notice there is no starter switch. You will not find the starter switch in here. No starter switch. So we go out to the front of the aircraft. And here is where you prime it. So you have to own, unscrew the primer and give it a couple primes. It's nice and warm now because I don't have real weather on. I'll, show, I'll probably show you why in a minute, why I don't have real weather on. And then you crank the, this is the energizer for the starter. So you crank that up. And you take it back off. Uh, and now I'm going to turn the, uh, those are on, those are on. I'm going to crack the throttle a little. I'm going to bring the mixture all the way forward. So this is almost a two person operation. I don't know how you would do this with just one. I'm sure you still need to have the chocks on. The chocks are on. The chocks are on. Let me just check that. Oh, they're not on. The emergency brake is on, which I don't know if these are really equipped with, but the chocks are not on. So now we pull this and nothing. This happens sometimes. Let me try again. Then I'll go inside and check. There it is. There it is. All right, we have a start. Oh, that's fantastic. Now I jump back inside and remember that I'm in my cockpit views already. And we've got this beautiful, um, Oops, there's beautiful effect on the side. Other side, dude, other side. No, not there. There's one side. Is that, is that the other? There. We've got this beautiful exhaust effect, which only gets better. It even gets better. Okay. Still working on the views. Hey, it's brand new. Give me a break. Give it a minute to warm up. It's just starting to warm up here. Lights on. I remembered. You have uh, panel lights as well if it's dark. Look at that. You have those lights too if it's dark. And let's just have a look at why he's not flying real weather today in this little uh, spot in Oregon. One of the freeware um, Orbix airports from long ago. Live weather. What? It's just not good, good for this plane. Before it started, you could hear the wind like crazy. The winds aren't bad, but it's it's not great looking out. It's just not that nice looking. Oof. Okay. <laughs> There's gonna be snow soon. Anyway, I made this in the in February. If anyone is wondering, if you're watching it uh, months or even years later, which often happens on the YouTube. Okay. Let's get in, inside and do a little bit around the pattern and have a little fun. I'll just take off and land and then I will play around with some more stuff. Breaks off. There we are. Uh, everything is good to go. And we're rolling. We are rolling. There we go. Visibility is actually pretty good on this, except for straight out, straight out front. It has a uh, self 
wheeling the castering tail wheel and it's lockable I'm pretty sure it's lockable only for the uh, the simulation I don't know that they are really have tail locks on them but there is a 19 page manual to go through that will tell you like exactly what what you need to do go through this stuff much more thoroughly this is not a flying lesson it's just an overlook so we get lined up here hopefully I can get off in this amount of space it takes more space than I thought uh, tailwheel lock is right uh, right here right there so I'm gonna use my tailwheel lock shift G is the normal tailwheel lock for the aircraft and then I'm gonna set my trim which I often forget to do so there's my trim there and we want to set it for takeoff my mixture is full rich and I am ready to go This is such a great little airport. I'll put the I'll put a link in the description or a description in the description. A lot of what Orbix does is giant airports, which of course most people want. For those of us who do these little airplanes, you'll be able to see by the lack of a million views on the on the video that it, it's not a big audience for these. But I just want to get a a quick overlook of it. And then we'll see how she goes. That school, I think, is part of the scenery. Oh, there's my airport. I, I lose the airport a lot because it's just a, a little dirt strip. So it's easy to lose. I'm at full power still. I have ran it at full power for miles and not had a problem. I'm not losing oil or anything. Oh, but this is what I wanted to show, right? Oops, come on, which button is it? This one, this is what I wanted to show right here. That little bit of flame. And if I pull back, it does disappear. So that's at full throttle. You get a little, uh, little fire coming out of there. Okay, let's see if I can land this thing. I don't, no guarantees. I did lock the landing gear, so that'll help. There's my runway. I'm a little high, but uh, you gotta be careful here because there are wires. So I might go a little long on the approach. Has a great, uh, it slips really well. Oh, that's my runway. Aha. Very nice slip, there you go. See, it'll slow quickly if you do that. So you don't wanna get too slow. little power in got the because it's a weather preset I have hardly any wind there's the wires don't hit those oh that's a little low that's hard okay here we go And you do need brakes. You do need brakes. Um, the grass does not stop it, which I think it would more than it does. Release the tailwheel lock, and we just can whip it around. It does roll nicely along the ground. 
Last time I flew it, I was in 30 knot wind, so um, it didn't work this well. <laughs> but when you're not in 30 knot winds, it works great. It works great. Takes a bit of power to uh, get it going if it stops. So I should have kept it rolling. Then once it's rolling, it, it rolls real good. Here, and then we'll be able to roll it back once we are shut down. The shutdown is very simple. You just pull the mixture. I would uh, no leave the lights on. Here we go. Well, the sound cuts right off. The sound cuts right off. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't do the cool sound that these radial engines actually do when they shut down. Um, so there it is, power off, fuel off, switches off. And I think it's all wrapped up. Now, um, then you can put all the, uh, you can put all the stuff back on it. Once you put the brake on, put the brake on, and then you can add the, and you can add the tie downs, pedo cover, wheel chocks, and control lock. There we go. But a real quick caveat, if you actually want to go back in the air and do some loops and things like that, you can take these things all back off and you can think, oh, I forgot what I was going to do. And uh, you can go to the next page. I haven't tried this yet. Ready for takeoff. I have not tried this yet. Let me try it. It's not working. <laughs> I assume that meant it would start. It did not start. Okay, what if I say ready for tag? I mean, what am I? I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Let's try ready for taxi. Nope. So that feature uh, doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Hmm. All right. I wonder if there's some other thing that I'm missing. I wouldn't think so. Ready for takeoff. Not sure what that would mean then. Okay. So this now is the PT-13 with the civilian cockpit. A lot of the same features, just discovering these other models. They're also fantastic. Have a look. The behavior is different. They are a little bit different, each one. And this is the 700. A75 L300.
One of my favorites because everything's inside. This one's more modern. It's a later version. It has the primer inside. It has a uh, mixture and prop control. So now you're in the modern world with this one. I might have to fly this a bit more. I discovered this at the end of making this video. So you get these three models. It's fantastic. Now let's do some stunts. First, we'll try a loop, a standard loop, nothing fancy. See if I can do it. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. Very slow aircraft. But I made it. At this point, I have not found the smoke feature. I did find it later. More on that in a moment. Here's the standard aileron roll. This is really um, difficult. I got better at this. I really did. <laughs> it doesn't, it's got a very slow roll rate. So you gotta be careful. the smoke and there it is so you have to have a military cockpit the civilian cockpit doesn't have the smoke the military cockpit does I had to go through all the different aircraft to figure out which one was which there's not many that have smoke but they have three colors what is it white red and blue white red and blue red white and blue go eat. <laughs> So that's a lot of fun. Another flyby with smoke. And that is about going to do it for this video as I fly into the sunset. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.